Welcome to Atomic Mass Transmissions Live. I'm your host, Dallas. Um, if you were watching earlier this week, Mr. Will Schick was painting his um, Asgardian Angela. Um, super fun miniature. I love this miniature so much. Um, um, really dynamic, real cool. A um, lot of fun from a, um, as a studio, uh, grokking out the engineering and stuff like that. Um, so it was, it was really interesting to push ourselves and, and, and get to this point and we learned a lot from uh, from from the development of this miniature so but now we're gonna paint it so we're gonna paint today so let's see what we can do I'm gonna paint Angela as well um, I pitched it out to the uh, the one and only official Facebook group um, and kind of asked the question what color scheme um, had a lot of really cool answers um, I did a little research on my own and I think I'm going to do something inspired by the Angela Queen of Hell. Um, so instead of like gold armor, she's got like a lot of like, it's it's more high gold. So it's it's gold that's moved into silver, or I guess silver that's moved into gold, however you want to look at. It. Um, so I want to do, I want to do that. She's got much more black, and I'm going to add a little more black. Um, she technically has like Hella's type of crown. Um, I did not convert it. Um, looking at the miniature, I think you could do a really cool conversion uh, using Hella's head on this body to do something pretty cool um, as the Queen of Hell. Um, I'm, I'm just going to keep the miniature stock as I didn't think about this until now. But what we'll do is we'll do the wings as like lacquered black armor. So as, as we uh, as we as we develop this. Um, so you know what? Let's just get stuck in, let's get started, let's get some painting, and let's have a fantastic time in our last atomic mass transmission of the year before we all go on a well-deserved holiday break, ready to come back in the new year um, with more and cooler stuff than you, you can even imagine. We got lots of fun stuff coming. Um, in the new year, we've been working hard, working diligently, and uh, I think everybody's going to be super stoked when we can start getting into the new year and discussing what's going on. Um, as you can see, um, she's a very sturdy mentor. Um, I do not feel like I'm not afraid of her breaking at all, um, but she does have a bit of a boing when when you bounce her about when you're working with her so I put a little bit of blue tack there on her foot to kind of hold her steady and I'm going to paint much differently than I normally would I am very much a paint from the inside out type person um, I'm not going to do anything fancy on the skin tones I'm going to use my normal skin recipe for painting her. You can go back and check out some Atomic Mass videos. Um, I go over um, skin tones quite often. Um, we even have a whole uh, video we did for Gen Con about skin. So you can check that out. I'll be doing that off screen. But normally I go inside out on miniatures. But I wanted to paint the armor. Schick did the uh, did a I mean awesome job um, first on the um, Angela he painted on Tuesday. Really thought it turned out very very well, and he went with much more classic. He did a lot of like real rich, warm golds, and since I did not really get a lot of time, I didn't I didn't make the time. To start um, all the skin tones, I'm just going to go ahead and paint the armor. Um, that way, it's something unique, something different. 
than what you saw with Mr. Will Schick. Here, I got reference here I need to pull up. I think the arm guards are black. Yeah, arm guards are black. I'll do this knee. And this is inspired, right? Like, it's the cool thing about... Um, Oh, thanks, Wampa Stampa. How is everybody today? I'm rambling on and on. And how's everybody today? Everybody's ready for the holiday, hopefully. Take some time off with your loved ones. Show them that you care. That's why we're here with you all. To show you that we love you and we care. But the cool thing about uh, painting, like, miniatures is you can kind of make it your own and kind of do what you want um, you know you can follow the guides um, you know you can follow the comic book the cool thing is the comic books have such a long history right you can kind of play and have fun I think I want these uh, the leg armor is typically done silver I think I'm gonna keep with this bright gold this is a very high gold it probably like yeah you can see it you can see it it's a very high gold. When I say high, I mean it's a high value. Um, it's very desaturated for gold. Um, high golds tend to mean that it's it's moved into silvers. Uh, we'll do this leg band gold here. I saw a question. There was a question. Uh, do we 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 actually kind of choose our own reference points, gamers web. Um, you know, and we work very closely with Marvel, so we we typically Shik and I, um, you know, and then we'll, of course we bring other people in, but. We'll kind of have the initial conversation about like what costumes we want. And then because it's miniature, you know, some things can't translate. So like sometimes you might think that a detail is missing when in reality we might have like um, done something to like make it more producible as a miniature. Like there's a lot going into these designs on miniature. So, but we work closely. We usually pick the we usually pick the the costume and work with Marvel to get a really cool miniature in your hands. All right, that's a lot of high gold. Uh, my, I'm, I did block in like a base color. I'm gonna do uh, her top here in black. Because I want like a streak of black across going from side to side to um, kind of cut that silhouette and to show like under armor. Um, it'll be here on her belly as well. And I'm going to do her hands. Her hands are uh, actually um, not gloved, but I'm going to I'm going to paint them as gloved. We're just going to have fun. A lot of questions. I love questions. A lot of fun stuff. Yeah, we do have access to the Marvel Reference Library. That's true. So we, we pick through them and we pick them out. And, and then we work with Marvel. Let's add... Okay, so that was called... Um, Citrine Alchemy. Uh, Shik has used that before to great effect. I'm going to go with uh, Moonstone Alchemy now. Lawgiver for have I painted multiples of many of the minis? Uh, yes, I have. Um, let me show you a cool example. Let me see here. Who do I got? Real quick and easy to grab. How about this one? And... Where's the alternate? Right there. I've done several alternates. 
So like, we got our Approximate Midnight, then very classic, very comic book, black, white, gold. Love this miniature. She looks like she's about to bust some fool up. And then I did an alternate <clears throat> with kind of red blazing, there's a lot of stippling on this one. Um, silver armor and then I did a white skull face mask to kind of add some like really cool interesting uh, effect so it's a lot of fun to it's a lot of fun to like kind of get in there and take your own take on it so I'm just going to kind of go kind of loosey goosey here Yeah, thanks, Wumpa. Uh, thanks, everybody. Like, that, that mask was... Uh, I painted that live on stream. And it was just kind of a last-minute, like, fun thing we just kind of uh, did on stream. And I was just goofing off. And it ended up working working pretty well. Um, a lot of times on these streams, I'm, I'm pretty much making it up as I go. Um... <clears throat> I mean, that's just kind of how I am anyways. I'm a fly-by-see-a-pants kind of guy, as Pagani will attest. Yeah, Deadpool painted X-Force, X-Men, and Normal. That'd be pretty cool. Um... I only have one Wolverine painted currently. Um, Wolverine is um, one of my favorite Marvel characters. I have a giant collection of Wolverine comic books spanning from the miniseries, uh, the Frank Miller miniseries, um, all the way up to you know issue one to 200, I believe. I'd have to go back and look. Um, so pretty vast collection of uh, Wolverine. Love Wolverine. Um, one of my favorite characters. Um, and I, but so I want to pay homage to it. Like if you caught the uh, stream, I definitely did a uh, the uh, brown and tan version. I want to do the yellow gold. Of course, you got to do the yellow gold just iconic but I also want to do the X-Force the black white and red uh, just for fun um, I'm a hobbyist you know and we make a hobby game so I'm I, you know I'm all about like let's paint the miniature and like um, let's make some theme and like that way whatever I feel like when I go to the table you never know which you never know which Wolverine I'm going to throw down to, to fight against you you know it's like my Scott Summers is very, very much not classic Scott Summers. One of the very rich blue that goes all the way down to the black in the shadows and then black straps. He's not quite done. I still got to do the reds and a little more pop. But, you know, it's a lot of fun to just kind of, or if you watched last week, my alternate enchantress, my goth enchantress, she's black and purple, you know. Like I said, it's a hobby game, and you know you can get in there, and you can have fun, you can hobby how you want. Put a little shadow on here. Just kind of slap that on, and kind of pull it off from the, you know, center point of the shoulder pad there. I didn't do a base coat on the back. Doesn't matter. Just put it on shadow with this color. It's a good. That's great. Yeah, you, you switch costumes in fighting games and, you know, you know, the Avengers video game, you had a bunch of different costume options. It's cool to get, cool to get inspired by stuff. Maybe here in a minute I'll show my two different uh, Thanos, if anybody wants to see those. 
I did paint two different Thanos. Since we're talking about alt schemes and kind of doing what you want. You know, it's your game, it's your hobby. We love seeing what you all come up with. Like the studio. Everybody in the studio loves seeing what everybody comes up with. That's why we do the Institute Graham Challenge, which unfortunately we're not really doing right now. Instagram is not letting anybody search still. Um, I tried the other day. Still not letting me search. So I can't search the uh, painting protocol hashtag. Um, so we can't go over that challenge. Trust me, as soon as we can, we will get right back into that. I miss showing them off. I miss looking at everybody's awesome artwork. And yes, it is all awesome artwork. If you're a beginner or an expert, you're and you're having fun, then you know you're 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 making art, and that's awesome. Like that's all that matters is that you're having fun. Until you decide to compete, the only person you're challenging is yourself, right? You shouldn't be looking at anybody else's, except for for inspiration. I look at I look at many, many miniature painters. Uh, all kinds of miniatures. I paint all kinds of miniatures. Um, you're always looking for inspiration, but I'm not. I'm not ever defeated by what somebody else is going to do, or what somebody else did. Like I get inspired and challenged. It makes me want to grow and push myself. You know, because I'm only competing against myself until I go to a painting competition. I always put in that caveat because we have an awesome painting competition that you will see again. I'm so excited to give away an Odin trophy. <clears throat> two of each one healthy one weird. I can barely keep up now I got so much to paint and even more coming to paint like trust me trust me the plural Thanos is Thanos is or just Thanos is is it than I if, if there's a if there's a if there's like six is it is it a gaggle of than I I'm not sure Oh, Atomic Mass Games, that's amazing. A group of Thanos is called an, an inevitability. That's great. An inevitability of Thani. A Thanopod. Let's let's pull Thanos out. Let's. I, 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 let's. We're talking about alternate schemes, and I. I think Thanos really shows like what you can really do with some alternate ideas um, and just having fun with your paint jobs, right? And Thanos as a miniature is great for this, right? So there's classic comic book Thanos. I did a very dark throne, not not like the not like the studio one. Uh, purples and yellows on the metals, very dark very grim so this is the this is my ultimate encounter Thanos so he's very comic booky he's got a big smile he's got a full infinity gauntlet and then for just regular games I got my in search of the gems as I call it Thanos you know he's just on a city base this is just some extra uh, extra base from I believe uh, I believe one mr. Peter Peter Parker donated to Thani here um, so this is my he doesn't have an infinity gauntlet yet he's in search of it so he's all brass and black so you can you can have a lot of fun he's very mad because he doesn't have he doesn't have an infinity gauntlet yet so you can have a lot of fun with your alternate schemes let's get back to the action I'm going to grab some of this uh, amethyst alchemy And I'm going to put, so this is a very purple metal. This is a very beautiful color, very lovely color. And I'm going to put that very delicately in the shadows. Now it may look like I'm really smoothing this out. I'm not. I'm just kind of tapping it in a general area using a damp brush to kind of pull away very gently just to leave it in the very select spots that I want the color 
I'm not worried about perfect blends or anything. But we talk about we talked about contrast and color theory a lot last week, um, which I thought was a great conversation. Um, I do love talking about that stuff. And now we can get into a little we can we can kind of expand upon that. So yellow, this is a very like I said, this is a high gold. So it's very yellow. Um, and if you look at your color wheel, the opposite of yellow is purple. And what that does, it's going to provide some contrast, right? This is a hue contrast. So by putting a little bit of purple in there, we're going to make it a little more dynamic, a little more visually interesting. Just something for the eye to want to look at, right? And really help divide up those uh, shapes of the armor. It's got a lot of really cool armor lines I want to accentuate. Yeah, sometimes it's just it's just the, the right character, to, you know, not deserves, but the right character just calls for an alternate, right? Or maybe your favorite character. Maybe you want to do an alternate of your favorite character. Um, you know, maybe it's just something you want to pay homage to. You know, kind of pick what you want and go with it and see where the see where the brush takes you, right? You can see that purple is pulling out those shapes of the armor. Love this, love this miniature. Like I said, it was a lot of fun to kind of uh, work on this one uh, when we did the concept. It was definitely one of the ones where. You know, me and Marco kind of looked at each other and was just like, can we do this? Like, like, can we do this? Um, and I showed it to Shik and he was like, that's cool. Can you do it? You know, I was like, yeah, I think so. And, you know, you learn a lot from doing, you know. Learning about those tolerances of the material especially, right? Uh, no release schedule yet for 2021. Sure we'll see all that soon enough. We got a lot of cool stuff coming in 2021. Um, I believe Simone, I don't know if Simone and Shik is watching. If they are, hello bosses. And this is going on my review. Um, I believe they mentioned uh, during Shik stream on Tuesdays. If you're not watching on Tuesdays, you should be watching on Tuesday. Shik does a lot of really great paint jobs. And really gets into like talking about the philosophy of painting on from his perspective and his point of view. So it's really good, really really fun little stream. I I thoroughly enjoy. Uh, but I believe Shik and Simone mentioned that information about um, teams and projects will be coming very shortly. So be ready for that. Cause we got really cool stuff to share with L you everyone. Alright, I'm just gonna put some a lot of purple on the back side here. And just kinda wipe it away from that upper surface of that shoulder pad. I want that shoulder pad to kind of glean in the center where the light's kind of catching it. Right? Like I said, not perfect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little painterly, right? 
nothing perfect you're just kind of making sure light and shadows in the you know fairly appropriate place doesn't have to be perfect the universe doesn't like perfection why should I know what I mean plus on armor you kind of want like some hard line shadows because like that's the way that's the way it works You know, if you look at metal reflecting, there's a lot of little hard lines. And I'm going to grab decayed metal. DK. Not DK. Decayed. Decayed metal. I'm also going to grab a drink. A little sip of water. And I'm going to put in my dark shadows. Oh, I knew it shook is here. Maybe grab a little bit of that purple. I just want a little touch of that purple into decayed metal. And I'm going to really be very selective about this. I want just, just the, just accentuate the darkest areas and define those shapes. find those armor plates let's go around here to the back side these kind of armor plates always catch that shadow kind of in that that hourglass when I say painterly what I mean is like if you look at a painting like a two-dimensional painting I'm kind of kind of working the armor like that where it's not perfectly blended or anything like that I'm not I'm not trying to do all that today just put a little dark shadow right here see there's a lot of paint use a damp brush push it right where you want it boom Use a line to go around those armor plates. Something like that. Just to make those armor plates pop. She's got like a little <clears throat> chevron shape there. I want to accentuate. And all this is doing is adding that dark contrast, right? Been talking about contrast for two weeks. Getting back into it. Let's talk about more. We're now getting dark contrast against light. We have a very light armor. But you want a minimum amount of darkness to make that light even lighter. Right? Dark colors go back away from the eye. Light colors move forward to the eye. So by adding this little bit of dark, I'm actually taking that lightness and pushing it toward the viewer, i.e. you and me. Let's put a little, pull that way down. I just want like just a hint of that warm brown. There, there we go. Like I said, this is a very different gold than what Schick did. Uh, mine is very, very cold. This, this armor feels very, very cold. Um, and looking at the artwork for uh, one Angela Queen of Hell, um, I noticed that even though she's the Queen of Hell, the palette was is actually very very cold. Um, she has white cloth, um, a lot of cool blacks, not warm blacks, uh, and a very very cool armor palette, uh, color palette for her armor. I guess I should say. So I think that's very neat. I think this this is a very interesting uh, color scheme and kind of got kind of got inspired by it. So 
like I said, I think you could do a really cool conversion using Hella's noggin and Angela's body to really do a, the Angela Queen of Hell. That 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 shade was very imperfect, and that's okay. It's on the bottom of the leg. Don't care. Don't care. Just need some darkness down under the leg. Wampa, yeah, it's all about practice with the two brush blend, right? It's um, it becomes how do I explain it? Um, so like the first time you pay a manager and the the person who's teaching you, right? Like everybody everybody had the person who was kind of their you know mentor maybe it's just somebody at the local game store or you know an older sibling it was just like oh you should paint you should paint measures and you know you get you're like oh how do i do it and you know you probably start with like some knight or with chain mail right or something like that and you're, you're like paint the chain mail silver and throw a black wash on it it's just like this instantaneous like moment of like oh wow Holy cow, like look at that look at that chain mail. It's so poppy and amazing. And you get this instant gratification. Uh, there's there's a there's a few techniques that are not instant like that. Like two brush blending is definitely one of them. Um, but what it is is a technique that once practiced and mastered becomes an incredibly fast painting uh, technique. All right, I think I'm done with the armor. I would dull coat this. You know, let's, let's throw a little bouncy highlight. I got this uh, white alchemy. Simone, you missed the music. It was, uh, it was very thrash metal-y. You know, which I felt was appropriate for uh, Angela, Queen of Hell. Uh, I need a poker. My paint pot's <laughs> clogged. The trials and tribulations of the dropper bottle. It's my memoir. Let's just take a really bouncy. This is white alchemy. So this is a this is a very white metal. Like you can see how white that is. But it's it's a metallic. And I'm gonna put just some areas of very high sheen. Yeah, that's the cool thing. Uh, it's this technique allows for this technique allows for a lot of control. You can go back, you can reinforce, you can you can uh, adjust. Also, I've never had to strip a miniature um, because I don't need to. Um, I you 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 develop a ability to paint very thin paint. Uh, you never have to paint. Um, uh, you never have to strip. Um, if I didn't like this, I could paint right over this. No big deal. I could just adjust on the fly and change change uh, what I wanted. Uh, typically, I don't have to worry about that anyways. I usually have, even when I'm making it up, there's, there's like a little subdermal, I guess, sort of plan. Once you learn some, like, what colors and stuff, you can get in there. Yeah, this is this is great. That just brought that up just a little bit more. Uh, yeah, dull coat. I use dull coat. I love dull coat. Um, I personally prefer all my uh, miniatures 
after I after I paint them, I do dull coat, and then I go back and I re-highlight the metals. Uh, once again, if you watch any, if you go back and watch my metalocity video uh, from Gen Con, just go to Atomic Mass on uh, YouTube. You can find metalocity. Um, I talk about like how you create metalocity, and a lot of times metal isn't just shiny. Metal on the undersides where the shadows is, is very dull. It's very opaque. It loses its luster, or as I call it, metalocity. Um, so I, I do everything. I bring it up to a very high highlight, and then I dull coat everything down on one cementer's paint. And then I go back and I hit it one more time. And that one more time is that pop, that zing, that, that little bit of bright light that gets in your eye, right? And you, you want that, like, or the, the, the twinkle. You know, it's like whenever, uh, you know, uh, a, a superhero smiles and the teeth goes, bing! Right, you want that little hit, and that's what makes it really metallic and really bring out the metalosity. Uh, how am I going to paint the ribbons? I got no clue. Um, not even thought about the ribbons. Uh, looking at the art, which I'm going off of, it's probably going to be very classic red, purple X's and O's. And probably maintain the white. Probably maintain the white around them. M move probably more to like a dull gray, like a like a pale, pale, pale gray in the ribbons. We need we need to we need to do some ribbons painted up. Sure. All right. Let's, let's just do pale gray. You know what? I'm just going to... I got I got magentas and purples all over my palette, as usual. If you know me, you know I got magenta and purple laying around. Uh, and we really need to bring that down. I'm just mixing a bunch of wild colors. Maybe a little bit of this blue over here. Grab a little black. A little more black. Just making this up. So what I'm gonna do here is sort of lay this on, sort of wherever I want it. We'll leave some of that white primer showing in places. I'm not even going to make it super accurate from a lighting perspective. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Let's take some of this purple down here. Stretch it out. Solid there. Bring it right to that point. That's going to be white. We'll do a little bit of the ribbons. A little more black, a little more blue. sides bring it around underside take it down grab some white I want to edge it I want to edge that whole ribbon I want that form to stand out We got like a little mistake right there, but that's okay. I'm gonna just grab some white. Great. And maybe 
maybe it needs to go a little darker. Why not? A little magenta, a little black. Maybe a little darker. Bring it down. Bring it around. Keep that real minimal right there. I just want that little bit dark. A little hint of purple. Too much. Pull it out. Just keep it dynamic. Just keep it moving. Just let those ribbons go. Right, what you would do is you want red, and I would thin this down quite a bit. Uh, what color are the X's and O's? Gotta make a choice. Usually red O's, yellow X's. Got a hair. Oh man. Simone's making curry chicken pot pies. I know Baron tried to paint that. Actually, because they're O's, just paint the whole thing red. That's how they are typically depicted. Warm orange. Uh, let's go with something here. Oh my gosh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. What can we do in 15 minutes? Dallas O's, that's part of your nutritional breakfast. I'm sure I'm going to make some something for the next couple weeks. I'll be cooking something fun up. <coughs> Made homemade chicken noodle soup last night. Oh man, it was, or not last night, the night before. Turned out so good. Yeah, I think that's a good start. I think that's kind of where I want to start my my ribbons. I made a mess around that one. That's okay. You just clean it up a little bit. I think that's a good start. I think I need to go a little bit darker in the shadows. All right, let's start doing some cool stuff around.
All right, we only got 15 minutes left. Hit me up with those questions. Just give me something to chat about. I'm just gonna keep moving along on this Angela Queen of Hell. Like I said, the actual costume of Angela Queen of Hell, she has like Hella style headgear. Um, I did not convert mine, so I'm just gonna go with the colors. Paying homage to the idea. Homage. Omelette de fromage. Yeah, the ribbons are great for brush control. You can also do some simple, simplified techniques. I could definitely see uh, just painting it a solid color, right? Leave the, you know, like say you want the X's and O's to be red. Maybe you paint the entire ribbon red and then you do a side of brush and just kind of run it across the, the top, across the X's and O's, a uh, different color. It'll leave the it'll leave the recesses the 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 color the red and uh, you'll be able to get um, a, an alternate color over the top of them. A very simple, very easy way to do them. You don't have to go all all out on you know you don't have to go all out. Right? Sometimes simple is better. That's what I believe. Just doing a very thin black wash. With the arm armor. Plus I don't want to get too deep on those X's and O's. That's really something I want to have more control over. It's, it's a fine detail. So hopefully that gives you some ideas for you to start with. Um, but something you want to have control over. So um, I want to turn the miniature upside down. I want to be able to flip it any direction. Um, and if I do that, I'll be off the screen. And then everybody will be hollering. I'm just, none of us any good. None of us, no, nothing good will come out of that. Simone will be yelling at me. Why are we off screen? I don't know. Like I said, I want to do it with gloves, so I'm just going to put the black over her hands as well. Got a little black on the armor there, just clean that up. Like I always say, no big deal, no big whoop. We're allowed to make mistakes because there's no no real mistakes. Just paint miniatures. Just paint miniatures. This is why I usually paint from the inside out. But like I said, I wanted to get that gold in there. You know what? Maybe she just needs full. Full armor. Oh boy. Wampa Stampa. Does any tips for fighting dust fibers? I tried a makeup brush for a dry brush. There's little things landing on my paint job. Might have been paper towel. It's probably your paper towel. It's more than likely your paper towel. Um, if, it, if you bought a makeup brush, it's not the makeup brush. Um, you really want a paper towel that's not soft and fuzzy. You you need a horse. You need a workhorse. Um, like soft and fuzzy paper towels, th those are no good. I think I'm just going to paint her legs in the bodysuit. 
as well. Now that I'm now that I'm here. Uh, so it's probably not your dry brush. Uh, how do you deal with hairs? Um, it's it's a tough one. Uh, for like for like for like tabletop miniatures, I don't. Right? I I, I I'm honest, I don't. Um, if a little hair gets in there, it's inevitable. There's all kinds of things floating around your house. Little creatures and little bits of, you know, hair and that's that's just unless you build yourself like a vacuum sealed house, you're you're just gonna have it. Um, so you just kind of like watch for it, and you pull them off when you can, but you don't overstress it, because that will do you no good. That's 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 a that's a path to madness. Um, for if you get into competition painting, it's a different story altogether. Like that's that's a struggle because the last thing you want is a big old hair on something you paint and a judge looking at it like so that just gets into a whole lot of mega prep mega wash everything maybe that's a video we'll do someday maybe I'll see if I can set up and do some sort of like competition painting style thing who knows who knows could be fun might be something y'all interested in a little black on there but that's okay Yeah, cardboard to clean off your dry brush works good. I actually have an old, like, dish towel I keep for cleaning off a dry brush. So it really gets in there and breaks that paint out of the bristles. There's a question. Oh, Frankie McShanky. Dallas, thanks for not cramming too many unnecessary details. Yeah, you know, that's... Thanks, Frankie. Like, it, 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 it's very easy to add a lot of detail, um, especially as technology has increased in the miniature world. Um, but, you know, I treat treat it like a canvas right and like if you're painting on a canvas a two-dimensional piece of art you you know you need a place for the eye to rest and if you think of a miniature like a canvas uh, you gotta follow the same rules you need a places for the eye to rest so you know you can you can get in there and you can open up stuff and like let the brush happen like let, give spaces for freehand and you know so so thanks Frankie thanks for thanking me I guess thanks for thanking us it's a team effort here there's no islands at AMG so wait for our ergonomics video I thought I did one for Gen Con maybe I didn't All right, where are we at? We got some cool armor going on. I need to recapture a bit where I got some black. That's because typically I would paint that lower level first, but for all of y'all, I wanted to do the armor today because I thought it would be more interesting. And watching me paint 
skin again. So there's a little reclaim stuff here. Something like that. And that'll be a bodysuit. As I work on it, I'm going to turn that on to bodysuit. And we're going to grab some white, maybe some metal, mix it into black. We can make this armor over here. So we'll start, that'll be the next step is start breaking this into armor plates on the arm, like black armor. and a bodysuit. I kind of got zoned in there, didn't I? What I'm going to do, I'm just going to come back and refine all this as I go. Oh yeah, I love, uh, Frankie, I love True Metallics. Love True Metallics. A lot of fun. Can really get some really cool effects. Really nice stuff in True Metallic. Like I said, I just want to lay down a layer of black and then I was just going to start painting in some highlights. I'll just keep refining this. This is still metallic paint. zone here kids kind of in the zone all right we're about to wrap up Why would you convert the staff? That's the... Oh, shit is going to kill me. I know the name of this thing. Uh, the Blade of Icker. It's a crazy cool weapon. Remember, this is our last... Atomic Mass Transmissions live for the year. Everybody's going to take a little holiday break. Spend some time with the ones we love. 
eating food. Hopefully you're doing the same. And we'll see you back at the beginning of the year for some really cool stuff. Got a lot of stuff to go over in the beginning of the year. So all the excitement and all the drama that that's going to, that is. It's going to be super, super excited to share with y'all. So hopefully we'll see. Oh, what is that? Live! Shook is doing one more bonus next Tuesday. <gasps> I didn't even know about this till just now. Oh. Bonus shik -isode. One final shik -isode for the end of the year. I love it. I didn't even know. He might do voices. All right, I'm just gonna keep going here, painting on the armor. I'm just gonna work it up. I'm gonna kind of do a little something different here, playing around with some techniques. Yes, it should be, I mean, I'll let, I'll let Atomic Mass confirm, but I believe that if it's, we, we would keep it the same time, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, here at Twitch. Atomic Mass, you want to confirm that? Confirm and or deny. All right, that's looking pretty dope. Pretty dope. So I'm just gonna keep working on this. I'll work over it over the holidays. Same AMG time, same AMG channel. So I'll keep working on this over the holiday and uh, I'll post some pictures up in the um, one and only official Marvel Crisis Protocol Facebook group so you can see where I'm going. I got, uh, I'm gonna finish up my Enchantress, gonna finish up my um, going to finish up my uh, Cyclops and maybe maybe oh can I show them the taco truck come on it's Christmas Nobody's listening to me anymore. The plates. Oh man, I don't know if I have those out. I don't have those out. I don't have the. I seriously guess how many uh, tacos are on the frame. I. See if you can even get close. So, until uh, next week, remember, special Shikisode, uh Tuesday, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can check out Mr. William Schick. He's doing the bonus Tuesday episode right before the holidays. Um, should be super exciting. Um, I'm excited to see it. I don't know what it is. That sounds, sounds rad as heck to me. Um, um, and then check us back out at the beginning of the year or whatever Shik tells you to do. That's what I do. I just do whatever Shik tells me to do. So until next time, thanks for joining in. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed the uh, painting stream. Um, I'll be posting pics, like I said, as I work on Angela over the holiday. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, 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 b